Today I want to tell you about these solar panels that I just picked up. I recently purchased these on Amazon and they just came yesterday or the day before and uh, they came in this box. So this box is not super big and it's quite thin. That's because these panels are very thin, lightweight and flexible panels. And uh, these particular panels, the listing said that it was a 1200 watt system. It came with two 600 watt solar panels and then it came with a charge controller, some various cables, carabiners, and a, you know, a couple of accessories. But the primary thing I wanted was the solar panels. I paid $269 for these plus $9.99 for shipping. These were not available as a prime purchase, so there was no free shipping on those. So for about $280, I got what I thought was 1,200 watts of solar panels. But is $300 or less for 1,200 watts of solar too good to be true? Probably yes. I'm going to start by plugging in a 100 watt solar panel to see how much power we're actually generating. These things never really put out 100% of what they're rated for, but I wanted to show you what we're getting out of a 100 watt panel before I show you what we're getting out of a 600 watt panel. This is the 100 watt panel. I've seen the readings fluctuate from about 65 to 69 watts, but it stays mostly around 67. Now let's go ahead and plug in the 600 watt panel and see what we get. With the 600 watt panel, 94 watts is the highest I've seen it get up to today. It is winter time, and the sun is not as intense as it is in summer, but 94 watts is a far cry from 600 watts. The output from one of these solar panels should be about six times as much as the output from the 100 watt solar panels. However, the output was only about 50% more than the 100 watt panel. So in my estimation, these 600 watt solar panels are about 150 watts each. So it's pretty obvious that these solar panels are a scam. They do work and put out some electricity, but nowhere near the 600 watts they're supposed to. And to be honest, I'm not really surprised that they're a scam. When I bought these on Amazon, there were only three reviews. Whenever there are close to zero reviews for a product, that's usually a red flag. Of course, there were a number of other red flags as well. After I tested these a bit and realized they weren't what they claimed to be, I dug a little deeper, which is something I really should have done before I bought them. I would show you the Amazon listing for these. Problem is, that listing doesn't exist anymore, but these panels are still being sold. There are two listings on Amazon that are identical to these. The pictures are slightly different and the prices are different, but they're the same product. They're from the same company. They come with the same components. They're the same solar panels. At the time that I'm recording this video, there's only one review on one of the listings and two reviews on the other. So my guess is that they put up a listing, sell some units, then take down the listing before they get too many complaints or negative reviews. Then they put up another listing and repeat the process. I don't have any proof that that's what they're doing. It's just a suspicion. But if that is what they're doing, those are some pretty shady business practices. I went to one of the listings that's still up and clicked the seller name to see what else they were selling. I fully expected to see more solar panels and components, but what I actually saw were toys, fragrances, posters, knickknacks, and various other things. So I guess they're not what you would call a solar panel company. Probably just someone selling whatever they can get their hands on at wholesale prices. I could return these solar panels and get a refund, but that's kind of a pain. And the panels do work and produce some electricity. So I'll keep them and I do plan on using them, but I wouldn't recommend buying them. Of course, what I would recommend is that people do what I should have done earlier, which is to do some research. Consider skipping a product if it has hardly any reviews. Click on the seller's name in the listing to see what else they're selling and if they generally get good reviews on their other products. Things like that can prevent you from making a costly mistake and buying bad products. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.